How's it going everybody? Um, this is just going to be a quick little walkthrough on how to uh, make some holes inside of Onshape and what these kind of values mean. Um, so you can see in the bottom left corner here, um, basically this, uh, this diagram that I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you guys how to make this thing. Um, so if I just first off start with a sketch, and for the sake of just showing you exactly what's up, um, if I look at this drawing down here, the overall width it says is block is six inches six inches wide um, so I'm gonna go into and say six press enter and then the height it says is two so I'm gonna hit two and then it makes that um, I can press green check mark and then I can go to extrude and I can extrude that piece it does say in there um, over here in my little chart that it's three inches depth press enter and now I have my um, basically my platform that I can start making stuff on. So I can go to sketch, I make a new uh, location. Um, so again, we talked about in the presentation, um, location and size are really important with holes. Um, so in this case, we're going to draw um, basically the locations first. So if we look through this piece, um, all holes along this path are um, basically arranged. It, it doesn't matter just for the sake of, of you guys showing these, like how far these apart. Um, in your other drawings, the one you guys are actually doing for these assignments, they show you exactly where the locations are. But for my example, I'm just going to make um, random kind of locations. Do, 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 do. Okay, press the green check mark. Now I have some um, like basically points that I can choose when I make my holes. So I'm going to come up here and you're going to see hole. And for this example that you're going to see um, here, we'll start with, for example, this, this one on the left here, right? Um, so if I looked at the left, it just says it's a half inch through all hole. Um, so I see right here, it says through, that just means it goes through the whole entire part. Um, it is a half inch diameter. There is no counter bore. It's just a simple. Um, and then you're going to see again that it's just a half inch. So 0.5 is the diameter. I can press enter. I can press the green check mark and that is it. It's just one hole that is half inch. It goes through the whole entire part. Make sure you open up or turn on the sketch again so that you guys can see even in your other assignments that you're going to do, uh, you're going to see basically these points um, disappear if you don't turn your sketch back on. So now you're going to see these other points. Um, so if I look back again at my diagram here, the second one is um, a counter bore and we can tell by that little the symbol that you see there. So we're going to go to the hole again. I'm going to go to this location here. I'm going to change this to a counter bore. Gives you a little preview down here of the dialog box on what this all means. Um, and in this case, it is a depth. So we're going to say blind because we, we're going to identify what that depth is down here. Um, so 0.375 is the smaller opening. I like to go um, bottom up. So if I look at this note down here, you're going to see um, basically that it says 0.375 and the diameter of the counter bore is 0.75. So if I look here, it says uh, the smaller opening in this case is the 0.375. Uh, the, the larger opening in this case is the 0.75. And then the depth of the counter bore, again, if I look at my little sheet right here, the depth of the counter bore is 0.5. And the overall depth it does not go through the whole entire thing. It only goes two inches. That's already set to two inches. We're all set there. I can hit the green check mark. And as you can see, it doesn't go through the whole entire part. Um, it only goes through a portion two inches down. It has the counter board depth and all that jazz, and we're good to go. Uh, the other one is a counter sink. The third one here is a counter sink. So again, hole, select that, that location. And we're going to say this one is a counter sink. Um, this one does go into a depth, so we can say leave that to blind. In this case, the smaller opening is 0.25, enter. The larger opening is 1. The angle is 82, that's already preset. And the overall depth is 2.25. Press enter, green check mark. And as you can see, it does not go through the whole entire part again. It just has that countersink, that cylindrical um, method that goes through that piece. The last one, um, again, is a hole. The only difference here is that it is still a, it's a counter bore, but it is not blind, in this case, through, which means it goes through the whole entire part. So we punch these values in. The smaller opening, in this case, is 0.5. The larger opening is already 0.75. And the um, depth of that counter bore is 0.625. So I can go ahead and select that piece right there. 
press the green check mark, and as you can see now, it goes through the whole entire part and I have those new systems. Now, how do I show all those notes? This is kind of where uh, this kind of comes into play. So we're gonna go into the plus down here. You're gonna see create drawing. And uh, for the sake of understanding what this all does, it goes down here. Sorry, my diagram was hiding it. Create drawing, and I'll move that back. Press okay, and as that's creating, I'll move this back so it doesn't hide. So inside of here, it's really easy. Um, you select the part. And in this case, I'm just going to put it right dab in the center. Um, I'm not going to add all these notes just for the sake of time and for the sake of this video. I press escape just to get out of that. And now I have my circles and I have my design. Now, if you needed to make it bigger, which you might need to for these assignments, um, you will need to identify all these dimensions. It's just good practice to, to determine all these. You do not have to put the section views. I'm not requiring my students to put the section view. We will go over sections later. Uh, don't worry about this and do not worry about, if you look at the second one, it shows a side view as well with the depth. You can put this, the side view of the depth, but again, don't, don't put the section view. We don't even need to worry about that yet. So inside of here, um, if you were need to put in the, this the side view, you could just select here just to show the depth of the object. And I'm good to go there. Um, I can double click it. I can um, right click it. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do this. You can show hidden lines to show that all those holes are through there. It's just going to be really confusing looking there. Um, you can add dimensions, obviously, by hitting the dimension tab. Go and zoom in and you can say, um, you know, from this piece to this piece is, you know, one inch. Um, if your tolerances are way too tight here or they're way too extensive, uh, you can just hit this little gear. I'm going to escape. You can hit this little wrench, not gear, sorry. Um, little wrench over here. You can drop down precision and change it to, you know, in this case, hundredths of an inch um, accuracy. Um, after you have those all dimensioned, you want to dimension the circles as well. And that's kind of the new part. Um, you just come on over here. It's super easy. And you're going to see, um, do, 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 that's the total, where's that? Right here. You're going to see whole, a whole call out. You click that, you click the outer edge of the circle, it literally automatically generates, and you can kind of move it around. Um, just click the outer circle, and it'll generate all of the notes for you. You don't even have to do anything um, fancy or type anything or do anything like that. And again, if it's uh, too in the way or whatever, you can just drag and drop and kind of move it so that they're not overlapping and freaking out. Um, the other thing is, is if you need this to be bigger, you can double click it, come over to scale, and uh, you can change these, obviously, if I want it to one to one, it'll adjust all those and freak out. Uh, again, just for the sake of video, I'm just going to keep it the same just so you guys can see clearly what we're looking at and what this is all entailing. Put your name, um, obviously, in the title block. Make sure that that's a good practice to kind of get into. Um, so I'm going to make mine Mr. C, press the green check mark, um, and then just take a screenshot of this um, you know, drawing file and you should be good to go and submit both of the uh, drawing files into Schoology. I hope this helps guys. If you need any questions, just ask your teacher. Thanks.